Hello, I'm Andy Rash, the technical trainer for DMAG Cranes and Components. Today we want to talk about control boards that are found on the DR Pro hoist and crane systems that operate with CAN bus control. The boards we have laid out on the table we'll look at in further detail and show you the important features to keep in mind when working and troubleshooting. Let's begin by looking at the difference between the original, older, single board and the newer, modular board. To make it easier to see the baseboard, I've removed the ISS module. Modular boards have a key feature. They have two serial plugs in the bottom right hand corner. They also have decals identifying the firmware level running on the board. Here on the power supply unit. Older boards, known as single boards, are known as single boards because they have a single serial plug in the bottom right hand corner and they have the decals that show the firmware level running on the board mounted to the relays. In single boards, this area that contains the contactors and relays is a part of the baseboard. It does not come out as a module. So, the decal or firmware is placed on one of the relays. It really has nothing to do with the relay but all to do with the firmware level running on the board. This becomes important for troubleshooting. In the case of this modular board, we're going to identify the HCS control firmware level from the decal, in this case on the power supply. This says HCS, the number 12, and then a V for version. The number after the V becomes important for knowing the firmware level for troubleshooting and matching two hoists on the same crane. In simultaneous independent applications, this firmware level must match between the two hoists, and we can revert a new board back to an earlier firmware level if we know that we have to do it. This only affects firmware levels that are older than 5.11. The new board coming out of the warehouse now will be 5.4 or higher. That can mix with 5.11, but nothing earlier. The option is to buy two new control boards and replace them for both hoists at twice the cost. So it's more beneficial to buy the one you need and have us revert it back to an older firmware level to match the other good hoist. The LEDs found on the card that sticks up from the baseboard on the outer edge are angled so that they show to the observer on a modular board. These LEDs are also on a single board, but they do not have an angled holder. The flash code of these LEDs matters for troubleshooting, and we should always take into account the flash code by counting the flashes between the skips and comparing it to the chart that's attached to this video. There is a major difference between a board for the control of the bridge of the crane versus the hoist of the crane. In the case of the hoist, there's an added GS module for controlling the brake coil on the hoist motor. On the bridge control board, the module and rectification and control of the brake is conducted in this area, the lower corner of the board. When it's on a hoist, this corner is used for the travel control for the trolley. In this video, we've talked about the importance of the HCS firmware level, where it's located on decals on the board to determine it, and the basics of the board layout and the LED flash codes. When the LEDs are flashing, it means the board is active and alive. So, watch our other videos in our series, and we're going to talk about troubleshooting further and change out of the board.